As you know, I am the world's leading expert on hockey. Uh, Ryan Doyle said uh, a few minutes ago that it was field hockey at Dalhousie. I'm now being told it was hockey hockey, ice hockey. I don't know. It was hockey. It was hazing. Doesn't really go to the point, but anyway. Ah, now, fascinating new sort of vanity published book. The title is um, Why I Should Be Prime Minister Because I Once Had Sex with Pierre Trudeau uh, by Deborah Coyne. Ray Hurd is... You can hear him rustling with the newspapers. Ray Hurd, Sun News con uh, contributor, has done everything in journalism and media. Look, I've only met Deborah Coyne once. She was on my old show. She ha has no charisma. Uh, she, she, she will not win this election. She ran against uh, Jack Layton. That was audacious, so that yes. was never going to happen. What, what I've been appalled by, she brings out this, and it's really a self-published yeah. book, and she's been interviewed all over the place, and the interviews are so profoundly <laughs> sycophantic. Well, um... That means she's a good negotiator, or her lawyer is. Um, the thing that surprised me was I knew Pierre Trudeau, and I can tell you one thing about Pierre Trudeau. What? His sexual activities make Bill Clinton and Schwarzenegger look like choir boys. He was one of the greatest ladies' men I've known. And, uh, you mean he was a philanderer on, and adulterer? On, that was on one of the newspapers I edited and on a... TV, news division, he actually had affairs with some prominent, still prominent, but now they're in their 50s, early 60s, yeah. Canadian journalists. So this just confirms... Yes, me. I had Trudeau. an affair with no. Pierre Trudeau. Please vote for me but to be Liberal leader. Here's what's interesting. The star played this big, and I just hold this up so our viewers can see yeah, it. Yeah, but they can't see it. Put it down. It's well, okay. to see your lovely face instead. Yeah, it's Pierre Trudeau... And his daughter, and his daughter, Sarah. So the first thing I want to say of substance, perhaps, yeah. I think Deborah Coyne, who wants to be remembered as a policy wonk, and I had dealings with her. Why does she go on and on the whole time? Is the now fact that she had a fling remembered. with him? Yeah, but now she's going to be remembered not as a policy wonk, but as a sob sister. This stuff she has written about Pierre Trudeau has some of the most inane language in it. She says um, he stole her heart. She said Ooh, she phoned Tolstoy him. Tolstoy here. She phoned him to initiate the affair. And, uh, well, you had, to, had to, you had to phone up for an appointment. Yes, and there was a difference in their ages of 37 years. Yeah. So he could have a so, child, but he couldn't pick the child yeah. up. And her second child yeah. is the son of Globe and Mail journalist Michael Valtry. <laughs> So, really? Uh, she is. Oh. Michael Volpe. The Canadian who, substandard establishment at work. It yes. gets worse. And is of he course, still Volpe, alive, Volpe? Yes, uh, he is, as far as I know. But Volpe, who briefly worked for me when I ran the Montreal yeah. Star, Volpe uh, ran as a socialist candidate NDP, yeah. in a federal e e election. So he was she has beaten, that yeah. in common. But getting back to Deborah, um, I'll say this for her. She does have some substantive policy ideas which are totally ignored. Her ideas on policy are actually much better than the policy ideas of Justin Trudeau, who is the stepbrother yeah. of her daughter. Well, J J Justin is a good-looking guy with nice hair, completely intellectually vacuous. We agree on that. She's not a fool. She's a fairly intelligent person, yes. but not in no. any particular manner. What qualifies her, apart from having the name Coyne and having had affairs with Trudeau and Valpe, uh, what qualifies her to be Liberal Leader and Prime well, Minister of this country? Well, not much, but she has probably better ones than Justin did. I mean, the largest thing he has managed is a drama class. Substitute some, drama teacher, yeah. Yes. But Deborah Coyne, when I, after I joined Turner, was policy chief of the Liberal Party, which is an unpaid honorary job. National policy chair. Yes. And Heather Reisman, means who, Heather Reisman, who owns Indigo Books, also had that title. That's another story. Akash Maharaj, so, a good friend of mine, but it doesn't yeah, mean anything. No, no, but it's an honorary title. She is a policy wonk. Right. Uh, she doesn't have a chance. But by the way, as I keep telling you guys, Justin has already won on Twitter. So this is well, a sort right. of totally... Um, uh, facile argument. The media's building it up because it sells newspapers. And I think it's ironical that Deborah Coyne ended up, as I use the term, sob sister. The Toronto Star owns Harlequin Books. 
maybe her next career can be writing Harlequin romances. Well, let's move on from that. But, I, I, but I, I, I have to emphasize this. But it's one thing that this flummery is, is, is published by the Toronto Star. But for the interviews to take, I'm not asking people to be cruel, but ask her serious questions. What really are her qualifications? Martha Hall Finley has campaigned yeah. and worked yeah. for years now. She's an experienced person. Just because you know the right people, Ray, you know this better than I do. You go to parties with the right people. Yes. You perhaps even have sex with the right people, yeah. and suddenly you're a prominent Canadian? Yes. This country's better than that. No, no, it, it is, but she's going nowhere. She's giving it a good shot. Um, All right, let's move on to the... And it's entertaining, Michael. Right, let's move on to the... You and I are talking well, about it's fun. it, so there per must per be some Provincial subject. liberals. Uh, no, you have two very serious women there, yes. uh, Pupatello and, and Kathleen Wynne. And I'm, I'm fond of both of them. They're, they're mm. both impressive. I think that Kathleen Wynne could win the contest. I don't think she can win the election. I think Pupatello could win both. I think Pupatello is going to win. But this election, and don't forget, this is not for the leader of it's the party. Premier. It's to be premier. This election for premier will be decided by how a very smart South Asian who ran sort of joint third... Huh. How he goes. His name is Thakar, well, he's and he's smart. Go. And some journalists are taking cheap shots at him because they say he played the South Asian Sikh card. Yeah. So what, Everyone Michael? Everyone plays an what ethnic or think? a sexual card. Yes. And when I came to this country long before you did in 1962, yeah. in Montreal, in the, Irish, the Irish and the Italians to their credit, were playing Ray, that card. Kathleen Wynne, as, as a gay woman, uh, Glenn Murray goes over, yeah. was it Nancy Ruth, whatever her name is? You know, she's a, there's a, there is a gay vote, there is still an Italian yeah. vote, there's a certain Jewish vote. There's nothing wrong in that. No, but I'll tell you the problem with it. Um, that works south of Bloor Street in Toronto, in Toronto yeah. but north of Bloor Street, as you go out into the rest of right. Ontario... It doesn't help. You mean in deep rural Ontario, there's not a big uh, gay, Jewish, Italian, Northern South Asian vote? Northern suburbs, there's a, <laughs> there, there are Muslims, there are Jews, there are Catholics who have their own opinions. Yeah. I don't share their opinions. But the other thing right. that's really important, Michael, um, Very quick. this will be decided by a small group of people, at least Justin or Deborah Coyne, other people have maybe right. millions, very few people okay, will decide Okay, right, I just want to end on this. If I slept with you, could I then run to be leader of the Liberal Party? Um, if the leader was for downtown Toronto, the answer is yes. <laughs> if it's outside Toronto, and can I say one last thing? Yes. I think Pupacella will win because she doesn't come from Toronto, yeah, the centre of the universe. Dalton got it on the fifth ballot True. because he wasn't from Toronto. She's from Windsor. So that's her great advantage. Right. The rest of Ontario hates Toronto. Coming from Windsor being a great advantage. You won't hear that too many times. Thank you, sir. OK. <laughs>